In this video, we'll look at the chemical reaction for silver nitrate plus sodium chloride. So we're talking about silver nitrate, that's AgNO3. Then sodium chloride is NaCl. So we could write the equation like this, where the Aq, that stands for aqueous, dissolved in water. And the S, after the silver chloride, the AgCl, that's a solid. It's a precipitate. So here we're adding just normal NaCl to water. It's aqueous, it's dissolving. That means it's breaking apart into its ions. So we get Na plus and then Cl minus from the NaCl. They're aqueous, they're dissolved in water. So we'll stir it up here a little bit. That'll speed up the dissolution. We also have AgNO3. We put water in there, we get Ag plus and NO3 minus. It dissociates or dissolves. So now that we have these two aqueous solutions, the AgNO3 and then the NaCl, We'll mix them together. Remember, they're both aqueous, so they're split apart into their ions. When we do that, this is what happens. The AgNO3 and NaCl, they change places, a double displacement reaction, and we get AgCl, which is a solid. And that's a precipitate. It's going to fall over time to the bottom of the test tube or the beaker. And then what's left in solution will be those two ions, the sodium and nitrate ion. So our chemical reaction took place there. And that chemical reaction would look like this. We have our AgNO3 and our NaCl both dissolved in water. They react and we get that AgCl plus NaNO3. The AgCl, the precipitate, silver chloride, is at the bottom. It's a solid. If we poured the liquid off, let it dry out a little bit, that would look like this. So this is our solid AgCl, and in the liquid we poured off, that has the NaNO3. If we let that liquid that we poured off evaporate, that has the Na plus and NO3, that would eventually come back to be NaNO3, sodium nitrate crystals. This is Dr. B with the chemical equation for AgNO3 plus NaCl. Thanks for watching.